Now, decisions, decisions. Heart box or magic mirror? Decisions. I guess I'll try one of each and go from there. Rainbow ink! Hey guys, and welcome back to Rainbow Lake's Day, another Disney Bell Friday. Today's character is the Evil Queen, and I'm really excited for this one because I have a very full, full outfit. I have accessories, I have a full outfit. I'm really excited, because I don't remember the last time I had a character that had an A, a full outfit, and B, had many accessories with it. And you gotta give the Queen her justice, even though she's the Evil Queen, so. There's that, and in my background, I got Heart Box, where Snow White's heart's supposed to be, and also Magic Mirror. Any items that we're using past any balance will be a hard right up there and also in the link description below if you guys want to check it out and see how I used it in that video as well. So there's that. So let's jump right in. Let's start with the shoes and work our way up. So excited. Okay, so first up we have a pair of black shoes. They do have a wedge heel on them and this is the first time I am using these for a Disney Bell and getting up on top of the thing is going to be fun when that comes down to it. But it also has little buckles to go around my ankles. I just have to remember not to wear socks with these. That's all. But yeah, hopefully I don't die <laughs> climbing up on the thing. So that's fun. Those were never used before, so there's that. Next up we have a purple skirt. I've used this skirt a couple times already on this channel, but it's the plain purple skirt because her outfit is purple and she wears a black cape, which we'll get to here in a minute. But yeah, it's plain purple skirt. The last time this skirt was used was in Esmeralda up there, also in the description below. We are doing some layering today. So around the waist of my skirt, I'm going to have this red belt. This is the one that I've used a couple dozen times and that I made kind of poorly but instead of it going around my waist and tie into the back we're gonna actually tie it to the front because she has well tied to the front she has like the rope around her waist last time this was used was in prince eric from the little mermaid hopefully that is the last time it was used i don't remember fully if it wasn't that then uh. next up we have plain purple shirt it's a short sleeve shirt again i know she has like black over it for the cape and her sleeves but we'll get to that here in a minute but this is the first layer ring that we have. This was never used before in anything, so this is new. Now, this guy, oh goodness gracious, I have it on a hanger for a reason, is gonna be our quote-unquote cape. Originally, I was thinking about just using my black jacket that I used, like, for Maleficent. Even when, when I last used this in a video, which was my Halloween video where I was a phantom and Woody was a hot dog, it's making its Disney Bound debut. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. It's a leather jacket. She's a queen. She kind of looks stylish. Goodness gracious. All right, two accessories if you count the belt and the jacket. Next up, our third accessory. We have this necklace. We have this gem necklace piece here that's going to represent her red like pendant in the center. I wanted to get that out, so there's that. Yeah, it's on string because the original um, chain that I was going to use, it doesn't fit. It, it, it wouldn't go around it because this is super freaking tiny. Look at that. Oh, super freaking tiny. So that's going to go on my neck, and hopefully it won't get covered by the jacket in the shirt. Let's hope. And then finally, one of the things that I'm also really excited to use. You know I gotta get a crown. You know I have to have a crown. This is literally her exact crown. It's a hair comb piece. Look at this. I will admit, I used this once before, but it wasn't for this character. It was for Prince John because I wanted to have a crown piece, and this is the only thing I had. But this is literally her crown. I'm so excited that I get to use it for this character. I'm so excited. Alright guys, that is what I have. This is a lot of stuff. It's very excited. Let's see how it all looks together. Alright, here I am at the Evil Queen. <laughs> It feels like it's too much is happening at right now. I feel overwhelmed very much. Here are the shoes. They got the little heel, little strap here, little cut open there. But yeah, shoes. Have the skirt right here. We have the belt tied off to the side because she has it like on this side. For when you ever you look at her, she has it on her right side. Shirt. We have the necklace right here. Keep trying to turn over. I don't know why. The jacket, which I feel like every time I need to push back so we can see this or I just like put it here and do this. I don't know. And also I had help putting up my hair and a ponytail this I could, but look. It's the crown. 
Look at that. So much fun. But this character has a lot going on with this costume. So yeah. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think. Anyways, let's see who I will get to next time here. I don't know. I don't think the next one's gonna top this. I'm sorry, but this might be one of the best ones of the year. Okay, I got one. Ooh. Oh my goodness. The Scarlet Witch. Wanda Maximoff. Is that right? Oh my goodness. How am I gonna do that? Well, you'll have to come back here next time on Rainbow to see how I do a Disney found of the Scarlet Witch from Marvel slash X-Men. Oh my goodness. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think of this Disney bound. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all that beautiful jazz. Last video right there, subscriber beneath me, and it was a playlist of other Disney mounts are right up there, and it'll also be in the link description with a Disney playlist, and I'll see you guys next time here on Rainbow Link. Bye! Oh, the stingles.